Hi everyone, Corey here again from TalesFromACultCountyGirl.com. I know I uploaded a whole bunch of videos on Sunday and I decided real quick to shoot another one because of something I found at the thrift store today on the way home. Now this is not something I'm planning on keeping for myself. Um, my mom is in the is in the market for a new planner containment unit and I'm trying to save her some money. So I'm going to offer this to her first, but I want to show it to you guys because it's really cool. This doesn't have a brand on it, but it is a desk size or a classic size. It has the seven rings and they're in really good shape. There's no, there's no gaps between the rings at all. They're still, here listen, some, some pretty strong rings. Um, it has a ton of inserts in it, if you can see that, but all the inserts are from like 1992 and 1993. Um, I'm just going to show you some of them. They're mostly blank. There are a few things that are filled in from the previous owner, and I won't be sharing that with you because it has the previous owner's name and birthday, and I'm going to be shredding that before I give it to my mom. But it has inserts of a day on two pages, and it has the month, monthly tabs for, well, it doesn't have the one for September, but the inserts start in September, and it goes all the way through December. And then it has these other tabs, and I'm just going to flip this page back because there's stuff written on the insert of address and phone, values and goals, finance, oops, sorry everybody, alright starting here with the blue one, that's address and phone, and this one is values and goals, fitness, key information, ready reference, planning and calendar, and then it has numericals, numerical tabs one through six down here and uh, most of the inserts are blank uh, but I really like like the goal planning pages <laughs> I've never seen these before um, it says at the bottom of the insert copyright date 1989 Franklin Franklin International Institute Incorporated. I'm going to look up what I can about that and if I find a link that explains it I'll put it in the description below. But I'm also going to make sure I'm going to write up a blog post on this real quick and get some pictures taken and any inform oh excuse me I'm so sorry. Any information I find I will put in the blog post and then link it back to this video um, or get the link in the video description. I may not post this video for a while simply because I want to get as much information as possible for you guys. Um, then it has this page, the Franklin Spending Matrix. I think these are just really uh, old Franklin Covey or Franklin Quest or Franklin International Institute inserts and they're really cool. Um, I've got to be careful which pages I show you because some of them do have the previous owner's personal information on it. And yes, I will be tearing that out and shredding it. Um, let's see, I found an order form. What can this tell me? Not much is the answer. Okay. Yeah, Franklin International Institute. Here's what the page looks like. I hope everybody can see that. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. It's got the spelling dictionary in it, how to give the Heimlich. Oh, we've got more planning calendars. These are future planning calendars for 1993. And the, hang on. Okay, this one doesn't have anything on it. So they're good inserts, but I mean, they're just out of date. <laughs> And future planning for 1994. Wow, future planning all the way through 1998. It's got future planning pages like this. 
I'm not going to turn the 19 to the 1998 page because there's something written on the uh, the insert. Then it has like a daily like a daily record of events um, insert. Can you see that? Um, then some blank paper. More blank paper, and the inserts in the back are, uh, or the tabs in the back are empty. This, it also, the binder itself, it says made in USA, which is nice, and it has a business card ID slot right here, and a pocket here, and a pocket on the back cover, and a pen loop. So, I don't, and the cover is like really soft, um, like it's kind of cushy. Like there's an air pocket in there. Um, it doesn't smell like leather, but it's also probably very, um, um, I don't know what year this is, but based on the fact that the inserts are from the early 90s, I'm going to go with this is a late 80s, early 90s plan, early 90s planner. And, um, so it may not smell like leather anymore. Um. And there are no markings anywhere on the containment unit itself as to what brand it is. So, like I said, I'm going to look up the Franklin, I say that was, Franklin International Institute to see what I can find. And I'll be putting any information I find in the blog post. This is just the price sticker. It says a dollar. And I thought that was pretty cool, getting all this for a dollar. Even though the, um inserts are outdated. You guys know I don't like to waste things, so I'd probably just scratch out the date and use them for a daily to-do list or something. Um, or I'm, I'm going to suggest that to my mom because my mom's always looking for scratch paper to do that with. So I'm going to see her this week because it is Thanksgiving, and I'm going to offer this to her um, first. To me, it also could possibly be used as an archive binder for Franklin Covey and Daytimer inserts if you are one of the pe one of those people that likes to archive your inserts. I personally do not. Um, once I get a couple weeks worth of used inserts in my planner, I just take them out and toss and recycle them. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share you guys with this share with you guys this really cool find. Um, and this is going to be linked, the link to this video will also be in the blog post that follows. So I'm going to try to write this evening. And what else, what else, what else? And then, fingers crossed, if I do get this blog post written tonight, I'm going to upload the video, link it back to the blog post, and go ahead and do an early blog post. Um, you know, usually I post on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Um, so yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If anybody knows anything about the Franklin International Institute, or you can shed some light on this binder, please leave it in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, in addition to any knowledge you might have, if you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments. I will try to answer them. Um, oh, and if you'd like to make sure you don't miss any more of my videos on my cool finds or my planner collection or anything else that I video about, please click subscribe at the top, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Have a nice day.